beautiful loves, Shalu Wat here from Public Shade Cosmetics. It is a day with much excitement because not only are we now trading officially and selling you all of your favorite products, but today I get to do a video tutorial on one of my all-time favorite Hispanic singers, the late Selena Quintanilla. So ladies, today I'm going to be showing you her iconic signature look. Uh, if you don't know who Selena is, please research her. She is a Latino singer that passed away and was murdered um, at the age of 23 in 1995. Uh, J-Lo had actually played the lead for her in the movie called Selena. So today I'm going to show you this. And before any of the leading brands or one of the makeup brands released a palette, I was in talks with Babe to actually do a cover song of one of her songs because I absolutely loved her. I loved her songs. I loved her fashion sense. And yes, she even came out with a fashion line as well just prior to, to being murdered. And she was just a success in every way possible at 23 years old. So she had achieved so much. And for that, I'm dedicating today's look to her. I loved her, the lips, the big overdrawn lips, um, which is so, is my signature look. I love it. Even though she had full lips, she still went over her lips even more and made them more bold. Lashes was not a big thing in her look. So if you look at, if you look at the makeup looks um, on Google, you will see that her eyes were emphasized more with a very thin line, not too much, not too much of lashes. Highlighting and contouring was not very really well known or even done in the 90s. So uh, you're not going to see a lot of that in today's look. So I've already prepared my face with my Bronze 3 Corrector. Foundation is Beige 2 and my number 9 powder. On my cheeks, I've gone with a very soft pink. It's actually the Doll Face uh, Focalio Blush. I'm also going to use this on my eyes as well. On my, uh, I didn't do too much of highlighting and contouring. You can see it's just very subtle. And I just used the number 10 powder um, on the, the highlighting area here as well as here. Even my nose contour is very subtle. But it was her signature lips that was everything. She always had either bold red lips or bold burgundy or bold purple or a dark magenta kind of look. And so today's lips was uh, created using number five lip matte. Remember our lipsticks are now gone back to normal price. And then I use my number 19 or even the number 15 lip lacquer as the base and then going over because her lips were not always matte, but it had a bit of shine as well. So next I'm going to do my eyes. I'm going to start off with number 10 powder on the entire lid. So that will just enhance the soft mauve and pink shades that I'm going to use because I don't I want it to stand out without glitter or without too much of lashes. So I've got lashes on, but be very natural. So this is the number 10 setting powder. And then I'm going to use the doll face on the lid itself. So this is now the blush that I've used on my cheeks. I'm using this on my lids. And my shading color is just going to be a very soft purple because those are the colors that she loves. She loved the purples and the whites, uh, white silvery colors. And I think her latest collection, makeup collection, is also with these colors. If you look at the shape of the brows as well, it's more rounded. So it's all these little details that will actually contribute to the overall look. So it's very rounded here as opposed to how I normally do it, which is straight. And the bottom lip is overdrawn, like at least two millimeters over the bottom lip and squarish on the outer corners. Okay, so soft pink on the lid. And then I'm going to do the highlighter, which is going to be number 10 and a white eyeshadow uh, from one of my palettes. No shine, mainly matte. So that's the number 10. And 
then I'm applying the white and then I'll go over with the white again at the end. White on the inner corner. And next I'm going to do a shading color using this brush and not the normal brushes that I use uh, because I don't want it too far out or too dark. So just from here in the shading area, So not very hard lines on the eyes. It was um, it was soft and contoured, lined with the liner, top and bottom, no shading at the bottom, and the lips was just the boldest feature on her face. Okay, next I'm going to just brush away anything that might have fell, no shading underneath. So I'm going to use my stamp liner uh, to line the top and the bottom, not the brow tattoo. Because it's quite a thin line, so I'm just gonna use the side of my brush. Removing any pigment from my lashes as I go along. Not too much of a flick on the end, just a slight one like that. Just going to use my mirror for precision application. any gaps that I can see with the naked eye just touch it with the tip of your stamp liner so that's what I'm doing is just filling any gaps And lining underneath my eyes, a very thin line. And the reason why she never used, used too much of framing colors was because her eyes were naturally really small. So that was her corrective makeup. So try to go on the inside of the waterline 
on the inner corner of the eye and then just slightly outside from the center going outwards to the line at the top and just join there. Okay, looking, it's looking even on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to apply my mascara at the bottom and also at the top. Again, I've got very natural false lashes at the top, nothing like my usual dramatic lashes. It's going to blend that in. I've already applied them. And lastly, I am going to apply some highlighter underneath the brows again and take away some of the pink purple. <clears throat> Just softening it a bit. Okay, ladies, so I'm just going to complete the look with my hair and dress and we'll be back in five minutes. So my beautiful loves, this is the final look, Selena Quintanilla's look. Hope you ladies love it. I just put on my bun and cut a little fringe, um, DIY, much to the horror of the stylists that are watching, I'm sure. If you'd like to know what I've used for this list, please WhatsApp me on 079-272-4713. See you ladies next week. We are open for business. Love you lots, bye. That somewhere you are thinking of me too Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight Till tomorrow I'll be holding you tight And there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be Than here in my room Dreaming about you and me Late at night when all the world is sleeping I stay up and think of you And I wish on a star That somewhere you are thinking of me too Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight Till tomorrow I'll be holding you tight and there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be than you.